There's no way to explain it. You, there's no way to prepare for combat. No way, especially when you're drafted right out of high school. I was scared to death. A few months later, Gus Albritton found himself fighting in Vietnam. Physically, it wasn't, it wasn't a challenge. Emotionally, it was. I was not prepared to see or do what I had to see and what I had to do. He also wasn't prepared for what would come after he came home. At first, I didn't know. I thought the rest of the world was wrong. You know, it's just I didn't fit in. Albritton said he still had a combat mentality and filled the void by taking jobs like a police officer and bail bondsman. The intensity was still there to live that dangerous, on the edge lifestyle. But one night on patrol as a cop was a wake up call. And a newspaper truck came by and backfired. And I rolled out of my patrol car with a Model 19 Smith & Wesson and popped off six rounds down through the middle of this town. I threw up, same reaction I had in Vietnam. I cried like a baby. He later learned what he has is post-traumatic stress disorder, common among soldiers returning from war. Albritton has been living with it ever since. According to the Department of Veterans Affairs, a thousand veterans are diagnosed with PTSD each week. The shooter in Wednesday's attack at Fort Hood was being evaluated for mental health issues. For someone to go off the deep end and do something like this, uh, they were desperate. They were at the end of their rope. They had tolerated all they could tolerate. As awareness grows, more resources are available. This entire wing at the Dublin VA Hospital is only a few months old, and it's all dedicated to mental health, with offices for several programs, including PTSD. They say mental health is their fastest growing field. We're also experiencing growth due to, uh, I think our culture is being more psychologically minded. We're more aware now about psychological health issues than ever before. Albritton says PTSD can still have a stigma, but has some advice from one veteran to another. Once you've got PTSD, you'll have it for life. But for the people coming back, get help. There's no shame in asking for help. In Dublin, Tom George, 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News.